This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 12th of August. I'm James Spann. Got a surface boundary approaching from the north, maybe a little drier air by Wednesday, maybe a tropical wave late in the week. A lot of issues on the table, so let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, coming from Cheha State Park. Always a great place to be especially in the summertime when it's cooler up there. That's Alabama's highest mountain south of Anniston. Partly sunny with a few showers around. There's our parish sky cam. That is in Walker County, not too far from Jasper. Uh, some of those cumulus clouds forming into showers and storms today. And the Alabama Gulf Coast looking pretty good. That's our Gulf Shore sky cam from atop the Phoenix All Suites. Uh, they could see a little wetter period toward the end of this week. That depends on the tropical wave situation. We'll discuss that as we go along. This is the water vapor satellite view this afternoon. You can see that uh, the trough is beginning to form over the eastern states. You can see energy coming down toward the Great Lakes. Uh, a surface boundary north of here producing a lot of showers and storms over parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. They've seen a lot of rain up there today. Temperatures this afternoon are mostly in the upper 80s. Birmingham at 89. And to the north, we note there are flash flood watches in effect for Middle Tennessee. A few counties under flash flood warnings up there. Also flat, uh, flash flood watches from Little Rock up toward Wichita. Some of the cities involved in that would include Tulsa and Springfield, Missouri. Severe weather possibilities for the rest of today and tonight. No formal risk, just a 5% ring over the Tennessee Valley and points north. Tomorrow, a slight risk on the Atlantic coast. And on day three, you can see the effect of maybe some drier air in here. Uh, this is suggesting any strong storms on Wednesday should be over the southern half of the state. Here's the overall rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one to three inches, the heavier totals over southeast Alabama. And again, could the tropics come into play with a wave maybe late this week? We'll see. I think the reason for the heavier strip there from near uh, Mobile back up toward uh, Cape Fear and Wilmington it's that possibility, and it's just a possibility for now. Uh, here's the tropical outlook from the uh, guys at NHC. They're watching a wave in the Caribbean. They've got a 10% chance of this developing into a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours, uh, and uh, we'll keep an eye on that. And, uh, again, the Gulf is pretty quiet. The rest of the Atlantic Basin is calm. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon. And this is at about 18,000 feet up where the pressure is 500 millibars. A ridge in the west, a trough in the east, and down below that a surface boundary. Uh, and you can see a nice northerly flow coming down through Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. And we'll just see how far that boundary gets. Let's look at the uh, high-res NAM. This is midnight tonight, and it's got a pretty good batch of storms blowing in here. In fact, really, this model is suggesting the higher chance of storms could be tonight. Uh, and that would be sliding on down to the south. And then by tomorrow at 1, there's not much there. But remember that the high-res NAM has not performed well for the last week. It's been way too dry. Uh, but this is kind of suggesting that maybe we'll see showers and storms tonight and tomorrow, the more numerous ones shifting down into South Alabama. Let's check the RPM, another high res uh, mesoscale model. And by golly, it's very similar. This is one o'clock tomorrow, and uh, it's got the most numerous showers and storms over the southern half of the state. So that idea certainly has some credibility. For now, we'll keep a pretty good chance of showers and storms going tomorrow, but places like Cullman and Huntsville and Hamilton and Gadsden could be relatively dry tomorrow. Now, this is Wednesday. Where's the front going to be? This is kind of suggesting I-20. Uh, again, this is the high-res NAM, so uh, Wednesday, showers and storms, a good possibility from Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston South, north of I-20. Chance of rain looks small. Uh, this is Wednesday coming off the uh, GFS, and it's got the drier air deeper into the state. Uh, big old surface high near Chicago. Looks almost like fall up there. And, um, again, exactly where that thing stops, we just don't know. But I-20 would seem to be a pretty good guess now. This is Thursday. The moisture tries to come back. Uh, this is suggesting maybe northwest Alabama would be dry, but the weather could be showery for the rest of the state. And we'll go to Friday, and uh, you can see that we've got moisture in place, so some risk of showers and storms on Friday. And you can see what's happening down in the Gulf, evidence of a little uh, mischief down there. Let's go to Saturday, and this is, uh, again, a pretty anomalous look for August, a very deep upper low and trough just west of the state. 
And uh, down below that, that would suggest uh, kind of a showery Saturday to start the weekend. And the GFS has a surface low, a tropical type low, if you will, coming up into Pensacola with potential for maybe some heavy rain along and east of the surface low track. Uh, places like Tallahassee, Apalachicola, much of Georgia, maybe southeast Alabama, if this wave indeed happens. Uh, but from about Birmingham north and west, more than likely, we'd be on the dry side of the circulation. Now, the Canadian uh, is much deeper. It's got a uh, almost a, a hurricane south of Gulf Shores Saturday afternoon. This is Saturday at 1. And then Saturday night at midnight, the Canadian moves that thing right up the chute toward Birmingham. And obviously, if that's right, we'd be soaked and windy and very wet with flooding. But this is an outlier. The Canadian does this a lot. It's famous for uh, laying down some you know, fairly bogus tropical systems out ahead, you know, five, six days like this. But, but it's on the table. The idea is there. We'll go to Sunday, and the GFS has that tropical wave coming up to the Carolinas, and we are relatively dry. But I'll just clearly say this is a very tricky low-confidence forecast, and it's going to change because you've got a surface boundary involved at midweek, maybe a tropical wave this weekend, a lot of uncertainty here. But if by chance this is right, the showers should be pretty few and far between on Sunday with an exiting tropical wave. And then Monday, the moisture comes back and we'll have a chance of showers and storms. We'll check the end of the forecast, the 28th of uh, August. Core westerlies up north, a flat ridge around here. And again, pretty ordinary looking weather with the typical chance of scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can... Catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News and the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.